What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is your first time here. Who the man? You the man. Can you do it? Yes, you can. My name is Javaris and thank you for stopping by. As you can tell by the title of the video, we got another sneaker review for y'all. So in this video, I'm going to be reviewing this shoe right here, this sneaker. So this is the Air Jordan 1 Low. They call it the Starfish Shatter Backboard, whatever. This shoe right here. So that colorway, that's going to be the sneaker that I'm going to be reviewing in this video. So if that sounds interesting, then keep on watching. All right, so I'm actually excited to be doing this review because it's a lot of things that I want to say and talk about when it comes to this sneaker in particular, but I'm going to stay in my usual order just so I can make sure I don't forget stuff. So I'm going to go, if you've been watching my other sneaker reviews, I'm going to go in that same order. So the first thing we're going to be talking about is the price and where you can expect to purchase it. So the price it retailed for, I forgot exactly when it released, but I am going to put it on the screen right now. So it released then, but yeah, that retail price was $130, I believe, which is pretty, I ain't going to say high, but it's, it's definitely higher for a Jordan Low because I, I believe most Jordan 1 Lows, they're like $100. I think one of them was like $115, but this one was $130, which again, to, in my opinion, that's still not bad. That's purely, that's a pretty good price in my opinion, but it is higher than like most other Jordan 1 Lows. So... That's where you can expect to purchase it if you're getting it for retail. At this point, because the sneaker is about two or three months old, you might not find it in too many different re retail places, but sometimes they have like random sneaker, you know, restocks, so you might find it there. But if you do, those are gonna be places that, or that's the price you're gonna be expected to pay. For resale, so I got my particular pair from a local sneaker shop in Atlanta, Georgia, so it was hype 24 seven. That's where I got mine. But of course, there are so many other, you know, whatever it is that your favorite restock place, expect to buy it there. So StockX, Flight Club, all of those places, that's where you can cop yours. And you're probably going to be paying around, the range from what I saw was like 220 was the cheapest I saw. And that was like a while ago, so I don't know. And then to about maybe 300, I'm going to just say yeah, 220 to 300, so somewhere in that range. Would I pay 300 for this shoe? No, but two something, and I like today when I got mine from the place that I got it, I got it for two thirty. Let me triple check real quick. But either way, we go ahead and talk about it now. I got it fresh out the box, so let me look. Actually, see, it's still in the paper, but I got oh two fifty. Two fifty ain't bad. It's not ideal, especially knowing that she originally cost it one thirty. But two fifty ain't too bad. Also, this sneaker does come with two um, lace. So it comes with white as well, actually three, because it comes with white, orange, and then of course on the actual sneaker is going to be the black. Y'all know me, I don't switch out laces. I think whatever I see it in first, I just keep it like that. So I like this black, so I'm gonna keep the black in there. I may look and see what the orange looks like, maybe, but nine times out of 10, I'm sure I'm gonna end up keeping the black on the shoe. Oh, and now that I touched on that, so throughout this video, just briefly, not too much, I'm going to kind of be comparing this Pollen Jordan 1 Low to this sneaker right here. Not that much because y'all know I don't really like to compare sneakers, but I'm only doing it for purposes of because this Jordan 1 Low right here, the Starfish colorway, it has a lot of differences than like other Jordan 1 Lows. Like I said, one being that... It was higher because this one and a lot of other Jordan 1 Lows that I have was only $100 retail. This one was $130. So that's already one difference. Another difference is at least all the Jordan 1 Lows that I know of or that I have only came with the one laces that was already on the shoe versus this one came with three. So that's already, you know, a couple differences. I have a few more that I'm going to discuss in this video. But pretty much now that I talked about, you know, the price and where you can expect to buy it and all that. Now I'm going to go ahead and quickly get into the details of the shoe. So to start, I will definitely say this Jordan 1 Low has a pretty smooth leather quality than other Jordan 1 Lows in my opinion. Not that the uh, you know Jordan 1 Lows has bad quality per se, but this one is almost on the standard of like a high in, you know in my opinion. It's very smooth. This orange around this part is going very smooth and either the leather at the shoe at the, i mean the toe box is pretty smooth as well this white up here 
So starting off, of course, at the top of the shoe, the toe box has that nice smooth tumble leather going across the top. And then on the midsole, well, the midsole, of course, is that white going all the way around, but around the toe box is that orange. I'm gonna get into, you know, what I think about in terms of that shade of orange later. But moving along, going up the tongue, so it's a white tongue, and of course, it has the black laces that I discussed earlier. Now, another difference that I want to point out really quickly when it comes to it, so most Jordan 1 Lowe's is going to have the um, Jumpman on the top of the tongue. If you can't see it, I'll probably have to zoom in on it. But this one in particular, it has the Nike Air. So it's similar to what the highs typically have. The highs typically have like the, um, you know, Air Jordan, or the, sorry, the Nike Air versus the Lowe's, you know, they have the Jumpman. This one has the Nike Air, unlike the other Lowe's. So that's another difference that this shoe has in comparison to like other Lowe's. Moving on to the side of the shoe, it's gonna continue with that orange, but that white is gonna be in the middle with the black Nike swoosh. On the back, of course, it's gonna continue with that black and it does have the basketball jump wing going on there. And I really love that design of these different shoes. Also, if I didn't say, I did get it in a size 10 and a half. The outer sole is in that nice orange color, the same color, you know, as the rest of the shoe. And then, as I kind of said earlier, it has that nice clean white going around the mid. So that really all, I believe, you know, Jordan 1 Lowe's have. So that's pretty much the details of the sneaker. I just, you know, I don't like to talk about it too much because at this point, they damn near all look the same. You know, of course they have different color blockings, but I wanted to talk about the quality. So now I'll kind of get into like my opinions of the shoe and all of that. So firstly, I want to say that this is like an elite version of any Jordan 1 Low for lots of reasons. One, the tongue. Um, a main reason that a lot of people, well not, well I'll say one reason a lot of people don't like lows and mids is because of the tongue. You know, mids and lows I believe have the Jumpman and then you know this one in particular has the Nike Air so it's similar to the high so that's definitely something that makes it different or just like I said elite to the other lows. Another thing is just the general quality of the leather on the shoe. I feel like this shoe in particular definitely has you know better quality than any other low that I own at least. So that's something that makes it more unique and different and all that. Also, like I said, it just comes with the different laces. Even though I don't switch them out, it's still just nice. So in that aspect alone, this shoe is already elite. Now I'm gonna get into kind of like, you know, my general opinions of it. The first thing I would say is maybe I'm just looking at it too hard, but I feel like the outer sole and the rest of the orange on the shoe are low key, like low key, two different oranges. Maybe I'm tripping, maybe it's the light that I'm in right now, but I definitely feel like, I don't know, the, the outer soles or the bottom of the shoe and like the orange everywhere else is like slightly off. Not to the point where it's like, you know, like I said, it's slightly off, like I'm really looking at it hard, so that's when I noticed it, but I could just be tripping, maybe it's just me. Also, another thing that I, I'm not a fan of this particular shade of orange, personally. I feel like it can come off a little, it looks a little red in my opinion, which, you know, I'm not a, against per se. I just wish the orange was had a slightly less red tint to it and more of a pure orange type of color. Like, I feel like the high, like the shatter back, backboard high, was a better shade of orange in my opinion than this one right here. And I'll probably put a picture of that one on the screen so you can kind of tell, but this one has more of a red tint. It's still clearly orange. Well, I'm not saying it looks red. I'm just saying it's, it's more red than orange. Or it's more of like a reddish orange than like, you know, a regular orange. Again, still, you know, a dope color. I still do like this color. I just wish it was slightly more orange. That's just a personal preference. Other than that, I definitely still think this shoe will be able to get a good amount of wear out of it. And I don't think it's one of these shoes that's like, you know, popular for one particular season or the other, in my opinion. Definitely you can get a lot of wear out of this when it comes to like different colors. You don't have to always match this up with orange. Like always, I'm gonna be doing an outfit idea. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, so I might do it with orange, but I'm gonna try to like finesse it with a different color. We'll go, we go see, but yeah. Overall, like the shoe. I think it's a dope shoe. Definitely great quality for a low, or you know, just in general, it's a great quality shoe. 
So let me know in the comments down below if you already copped it or if you plan on copying this low right here. Now typically recently when it comes to like my sneaker reviews, I've been doing like my resale predictions. Because this shoe is a few months old, I'm not gonna talk about it in this video, but if y'all wanna make it a conversation in the comments down below, definitely feel free to do that. But you know, I feel like there's no point in me doing a predictions if it's already happened. So I'm not gonna talk about the resale predictions in this video unless that's something y'all wanna talk about. If you start the discussion, I'll respond back to you in the comments, but yeah. So now I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the fit that I'm gonna do. Like I said, I haven't even planned it out yet. So I'm gonna do it, you know, I'm gonna be thinking about it as I move to it, but y'all about to see it right now. So let me know what you think of the fit. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and that you are subscribed to the channel and let's go ahead and get into the fit. All right, so here is the fit I do with these shoes right here. So I got this bubble coat from Boohoo Man. This is just a plain black long sleeve shirt and these pants, these cargo pants I got from ASOS. So yeah, these are the shoes. Obviously the oranges are a little off and it may look a little worse on the camera than it does in person. I actually took some pictures in it, so I'm gonna put the pictures on the screen right now. But either way, I still think that this is a dope fit that you can wear with it. Personally, I like these to kind of be like, you know, incorporate some orange into it. But this is definitely another sneaker that you can kind of use as like the orange be like that throw off color. So yeah, this is what it looks like. Hopefully the lighting's a little better, but yeah. And guys, that brings me to the conclusion of this video. So I'll let me know what you think of this shoe. Let me know if you have it or if you plan on copying it. Thank you so much again for watching the video. Make sure you actually give it a like and that you are subscribed to the channel. Follow me on Instagram at javars.ok. And until next time.